Francis Lederer, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the film industry. While his career may not be as prominently featured in the limelight as some of his contemporaries, there exist intriguing facets that add depth to his legacy. Lesser known facts and anecdotes about Lederer peak curiosity, shedding light on the man behind the roles. As we explore these aspects, one can't help but appreciate the layers of influence he brought to the screen. Delving into personal reflections, many individuals find inspiration in Francis Lederer's body of work, recounting how his performances resonated with them on a profound level. The impact he had on lives, both within and beyond the cinematic realm, is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. As we navigate the realms of classic Hollywood, your cherished memories or personal experiences with Francis Lederer add a human touch to his cinematic journey. We invite you to share your anecdotes in the comments below, contributing to the collective tapestry of appreciation for this esteemed actor. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Francis Lederer? We would love to hear your stories. Share your thoughts and memories below, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of a classic Hollywood actor. In 1928, Lederer marked his film debut with Zuflut, setting the stage for a career that included notable films like Die BCHSE Der Pandora and Die Wunderbar LG Der Nina Petrona in 1929. Despite early promise, his trajectory shifted when Irving Thalberg's vision to make him the biggest star in Hollywood was cut short by Thalberg's untimely death. Lederer, unable to fully embrace the American stardom, faced challenges in reaching the anticipated heights. Post Thalberg, Lederer sought success in theater engagements in England and the USA. However, his transition into American cinema stardom proved elusive, and he never quite attained the projected pinnacle. This period marked a pivotal juncture in his career. In 1939, Lederer became a naturalized United States citizen, solidifying his commitment to his adopted homeland. Despite the citizenship, the anticipated Hollywood stardom continued to elude him, shaping a different trajectory for his career. The death of Thalberg cast a long shadow over Lederer's Hollywood aspirations, altering the course of his career in ways unforeseen. His journey from promising beginnings in European cinema to an attempted ascent in Hollywood reflects the unpredictable nature of the film industry and the challenges faced by actors in pursuit of stardom. Francis Lederer, a seasoned actor with a rich legacy, left an indelible mark on the world of performing arts. Beyond his notable films in the late 1920s and early 1930s, Lederer's contributions extend far beyond the silver screen. In the year 2000, the Austrian government recognized his enduring impact, honoring him with the Cross of Honor for Science and Arts First Class. However, Lederer's commitment to the craft didn't wane with accolades. Until just a week before his passing at the age of 100, he remained dedicated to shaping the next generation of performers. The American National Academy of Performing Arts, an institution he founded, served as a testament to his enduring passion. Lederer not only imparted his wisdom through acting seminars, but also fostered the talents of notable figures like Helen Hunt, Michael Nader, and Paul Gleason. The Academy became a hub for aspiring actors, a place where Lederer's wealth of experience found a purpose in nurturing emerging talent. His influence continued to resonate, leaving an impactful legacy that stretched beyond the boundaries of time. In essence, Francis Lederer's journey transcended the confines of Hollywood stardom. His commitment to the art of acting, evident in the establishment of the Academy, and his ongoing mentorship until the very end, speaks volumes about his dedication to the craft. A man of both honor and art, Lederer's story extends far beyond the frames of cinema, resonating in the lives of those he inspired and mentored. A true luminary in the world of performing arts, Francis Lederer's enduring impact serves as an inspiration for generations to come. In his early years, Francis Lederer's passion for acting was kindled, leading him to train at the Academy of Music, an academy of dramatic art in Prague. This foundational experience paved the way for a remarkable career that extended beyond the confines of Hollywood stardom. Lederer's commitment to causes larger than himself became evident in 1934 when he spearheaded the establishment of the World Peace Federation, showcasing his dedication to peace during a tumultuous time. This marked a significant turning point in his life, highlighting his active role in promoting global harmony. 
Beyond the silver screen, Letterer's impact extended to his local community, serving as the honorary mayor of Kenoga Park, California. For 25 years, he played a pivotal role in civic leadership. His contributions went beyond the realm of entertainment, actively participating in the development of arts, education, museums, and art galleries within the community. Letterer's multifaceted involvement reflects a man driven not only by artistic pursuits, but also by a deep sense of civic responsibility. His legacy is shaped by a love for acting, a commitment to global peace, and dedicated civic leadership remains an enduring inspiration for generations to come. In the 1950s, Letterer's presence in cinema became sporadic, with his final film released in 1959. Despite early success in European theaters, notably as Romeo and Max Reinhardt's rendition of Romeo and Juliet, Letterer faced a linguistic challenge when he entered the film scene in 1928, having to adapt to English due to the onset of sound in movies. His matinee idol status in Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Austria, and Germany laid the foundation for a diverse career that extended beyond Hollywood stardom. Beyond acting, Lederer actively contributed to global peace by founding the World Peace Federation in 1934 and served as the honorary mayor of Canoga Park, California, for 25 years, leaving a lasting legacy that reaches far beyond the frames of cinema. This multifaceted journey reflects Letterer's commitment to his craft, his dedication to peace, and his significant role in civic leadership. Amidst the shifting political landscape in the USA, Francis Letterer made a consequential decision during his stay in the country and chose exile. Surprisingly, this move didn't hinder his career. Instead, it led to him securing leading roles alongside esteemed figures like Joan Bennett, Ginger Rogers, and Claudette Colbert. Letterer's charisma and acting prowess transcended borders, and his association with directors such as G.W. Pabst, especially in films like Pandora's Box and Atlantic in 1929, played a pivotal role in establishing him as one of Europe's top male film stars. Not merely confined to his on-screen success, Lederer took on a new role in 1954 he began teaching acting, without pay. This unexpected turn showcased his dedication to the craft, contributing to the next generation of performers. Despite initial challenges where critics hesitated to take him seriously due to his striking looks, Lederer's versatility allowed him to seamlessly transition from silent films to talkies. His journey, marked by collaborations with notable directors and actors, demonstrates resilience in the face of changing circumstances. As Lederer navigated the complexities of Hollywood, his commitment to acting and global peace remained unwavering. Beyond his film career, he actively contributed to the World Peace Federation in 1934 and served as the honorary mayor of Canoga Park, California, for 25 years. This multifaceted involvement underscores Lederer's dedication not only to his craft, but also to larger causes. In the 1950s, Lederer's presence in cinema became sporadic, with his final film released in 1959. However, his legacy endures through his impact on the silver screen and his significant contributions to global peace and civic leadership. Francis Lederer's story is one of resilience, versatility, and enduring commitment. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey, let the silver screen unravel its final frame, inviting you to ponder the tapestry woven by the enigmatic performer we've come to admire. Share with us the resonances of your personal connection with the luminary that is Francis Lederer. Perhaps you've been swept away by the finesse of Lederer's portrayals, each character an intricately painted canvas that lingers in the corridors of memory. Now, as the curtains draw to a close, we extend an invitation to delve into the recesses of your reflections. What memories of his performances linger in the quiet corners of your consciousness? How has his craft left an indelible mark on the fabric of your appreciation for the art of storytelling? In this shared space, let your thoughts echo and reverberate, intertwining with the myriad perceptions of fellow admirers. Your reflections, like pieces of a collective mosaic, contribute to the rich legacy that is the tapestry of Francis Lederer's impact on the world of entertainment. As we navigate the realm of nostalgia, expressing gratitude for the indomitable spirit that Lederer infused into each role becomes inevitable. An artist whose influence transcends the frames of celluloid, leaving an enduring imprint on the cultural landscape. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of an actor whose brilliance has withstood the test of time. 
Your presence in this shared contemplation is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the profound connection we share through the magic of cinema. Appreciatively, 